Hi everyone, Mark here from Staff Circle. A few weeks ago, I published my top seven predictions for HR technology in 2025. And here is my prediction number five, leveraging AI employee systems for improved decision-making in small and medium-sized organizations. Now, in prediction number four, I previously talked about how organizations of any size can use AI to personalize employee development. But now for prediction number five, we're focusing on how SMEs can leverage and will leverage AI to improve competitiveness, profitability, and resilience in the workforce. Last year, we saw how HR and TA were using tools like ChatGPT and other large language models in everyday tasks, such as creating job adverts and job specifications. But now in 2025, we believe that the availability of specialized employee development tools that have deeply embedded AI, we expect to see smaller organizations utilize these advanced tools to retain and progress their very best talent, but also use them to identify and develop underperforming employees, raising up the organizational productivity as a whole. Now, if this seems conceptual, I'm going to actually get up and switch modes and give you a practical example of how you can use AI to visually understand an employee development potential. Okay, let's take a look at how we can use AI-powered analytics software to deeper understand the performance of the workforce, areas of, and opportunities for growth, and where we can utilize learning to improve overall performance. So on this example here, we've got a succession planning dashboard. I'm gonna just select John as an example, and you can see straight away that John is um, fairly performant, but uh, if you wanna drill into that, then obviously all the information is drawn straight in from all the performance management, and you can then drill further in. But let's actually take a moment to look at uh, overall capabilities across the organization, because I think this is where we'll start to see real opportunities to align workforce around learning um, and technology. So these are all of the capabilities across the organization. If I just select one, say sales excellence, what that'll do is take a look at the organization for sales excellence, and that sales excellence combines a number of relatable skills to do with sales, you know, forecasting, um, outreach, and that kind of thing. Um, and then if I take a look at John here, you can actually see he's doing pretty well for sales excellence. And then I want to drill further into that, I can actually see where his skills are, um, customer relationship management, he actually hasn't got any skills gaps there. But also this brings up all the other uh, related um, skills that we could actually add back into his role, um, where he could actually drive and improve his overall performance and hence do that with the rest of the organization. And of course you can select individuals, but you can also um, look at capabilities uh, across the entire organization or split capabilities by department, by manager, and so on. If I was to take, for instance, sales, and take a look at capabilities by sales, that will then order those capabilities by sales team. And you will be able to see here, sales excellence there, Jenny Green's pretty strong. That's now uncovered the fact that Jenny is pretty strong overall at sales capability and you can bring up and see all of her skills, but also areas where either she hasn't been assessed yet or where there's some areas of growth here, a um, couple of gaps there for sales and sales forecasting. So hopefully um, this will show you why and uh, why it's important to utilize deep analytics and AI powered analytics because AI will allow you to draw huge amounts of data together and then visualize them in a way that really makes a lot of sense and to make better decisions with your workforce. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. To learn more about the future of employee development, we have a series of webinars running called The Secret Source of Succession Planning. And there's one this week, and we'd love you to join us. QR codes to follow.